On today's episode of Wangle's Workshop, I'll be making some simple soap dishes from a piece of mahogany that was scrapped from a sailboat. The reason I chose mahogany is because with what little research I did, I found that it was the most moisture resistant wood that I had available in my shop. As you can see, I started by removing the finish that had been previously put on the piece of mahogany using a belt sander and a palm sander. Now that I have the finish thoroughly removed, I'll use my crosscut sled to square up the ends. Now I need to rip quarter inch grooves into the soap dishes. However, my table saw doesn't support dado blades, but what it can fit is this quarter inch infinity tool saw blade. It's a bit pricey, but it allows me to do quarter inch box joints and it makes it super convenient when you need to do quarter inch grooves or wider. Now I'll use a marking gauge to mark the center of the piece. And then I'll set the saw blade height to match that. Now I'll cut a groove that goes halfway through the piece, flip the piece around and do a matching groove on the other side. I'll move the groove in a hair and repeat the process. You can use this same technique even if you only have an eighth inch blade. It'll just require two cuts per groove. To make the cuts on the back side of the soap dish, I'll be using this crosscut sled that I made specifically for this quarter inch blade. Right here I'm marking out in one inch increments so that I know where to make the cuts. Now I need to make one more rip down the edge of the soap dish, and I don't want to tear up my table saw fence when I do this, so I'll clamp a piece of plywood on as a sacrificial fence, and then I'll turn on the blade and raise it up into that plywood. Unfortunately, my camera died while I was cutting the mahogany in half to make two soap dishes, but here's the result so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and sand them down and then put some finish on them. With the sanding done, it's time to apply the finish. I decided to use Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner, which is a food safe product, which even though I won't be eating off these soap dishes, they'll be in frequent contact with my skin, so I figured why not use a more natural finish. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like to get notified when I upload new content, hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching.